हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कानपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन बीकानेर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग द पोएम रबे बेन एजरा बाय रॉबर्ट ब्राउनिंग एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द पोएम टिल स्टेंजा फिफ्टीन नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ स्टेंजा सिक्सटीन द पोएम रबे बेन एजरा इज अ ड्रामेटिक मोनोलॉग एंड द स्पीकर इन द पोएम इज द ग्रेट जूश स्कॉलर ऑफ द मिडल एजेस Rabbi Ben Ezra, who invites us to grow old in his company. Now we will start with stanza sixteen. For note, when evening shuts, shuts means falls. A certain moment cuts the deed off, calls the glory from the grey. A whisper from the west shoots. Add this to the rest. Take it and try its worth. Here dies another. so in this stanza the rabbi compares old age to evening he says that when evening shuts when old age when uh, evening shuts shuts here means when evening falls okay we stop our activities in the evening for a short time a certain moment cuts off cuts the deed off it means when the day is over the sun sets there is pause in work for a short time and we stop our daily routine we stop our activities in the evening for a short time in the evening a sunset glow changes the gray sky into red calls the glory from the gray calls the glory from the gray means at the time of sunset there is a glow in the sky which makes it red instead of gray glory glory here means the sunset glow a whisper from the west the sunset admonishes us that the day has become a part of the past a whisper from the west shoots add this to the rest take it and try its worth here dies another we muse on the good or bad bad acts which have been done during the day so there is a whisper from the west shoots the glow of sunset is like a whisper telling us that the day is over add this to the rest here dies another day this whisper says that this day is over and has become part and parcel of the past similar is the case with old age what prabha here is doing he compares old age to evening okay similar is the case with old age in old age all the deeds of once youth are reviewed in calm perspective gains or losses of youth are calculated dispassionately and calmly so as the evening adds one can judge what good things have been done during the day in the same way a person's life is reevaluated and assessed after the youth is over now we move on to the stanza 17 so still within this life the lifted over its strife let me discern compare pronounce at last this rage was right i the main that acquiescence vain the future i may face now i have proved the past just as the close of day is time when one ponders and muses thinks over his failure and success during the day so old age is the time when a man examines his past calmly so still within this life do lifted over it over its strife when the struggles of life is do lifted over its strife means when the struggle of life is over let me discern let me think old age is the time when the struggles of life are over and man has leisure to scrutinize to discern to think to judge and pronounce judgment over his past life let me discern compare pronounce at last 
this rage rage means enthusiasm or passion which a person has during his youth while looking back over his youth from the vantage point of old age a man realizes that some of his passions and enthusiasm his rage some of the ideals for which he struggled hard were holy right while he was wrong and foolish in his acceptance of some particular point of view so old age is the best time to review what kind of passions what were right what kind of enthusiasm was right and on what part he failed during his old age in making the correct decisions the equivalence vein ideals which he vein means passive there is a passive equivalence means acceptance ideals which he struggle for were right but sometimes he was wrong or foolish in his acceptance of some particular point of view in this way he can form a comparative estimate of the success or failure of his life the future i may face now i have proved the past prove the past means tested the past judged and examined its worth and so realized the value of experience that has been gained he realizes that experiences through which he has passed the struggle he has gone through would be valuable to him in the life to come he can therefore face the future with confidence for his skill and wisdom have increased because he has been through many uh, troubles and tribulations during his lifetime and by that he has gained in form in confidence skill and wisdom to decide what is what was right and wrong life is a continuous whole now rabbi says that life is a continuous whole youth is a preparation for old age and this life itself is a period of preparation for the life to come in browning's philosophy it is the experience which counts experience that has been the f- gained not success or failure as such as we move on to the stanza 18 rabbi venezra says that for more is not reserved to man with soul just nerved to act tomorrow what he learns today here work enough to watch the master work and catch hints of the proper craft tricks of the tools is true play man is the only one of the creatures who can benefit from his past struggles and experiences for more is not reserved reserved means given to man with soul just nerved the wisdom and experience acquired through the struggle of youth prepares the human soul and gives it courage and self confidence to face the future reserved means given soul just nerve means prepared nerve means prepared prepared to face life to come to act tomorrow what he learns today what he learns in this life he can put to good use in life to come here work enough to watch man should develop art of living and watch god's miracles an apprentice learns the mysteries of his craft and the use of his tools by watching his master at work in the same way man should watch the working of providence providence means god develop his faculties and learn the art of living the master work and catch hints of the proper craft tricks of the 
tools is true play true play means successful play so tools the various faculties of men the life is meant for gaining wisdom through struggles and experience which prepare the soul for the life to come we move on to the next stanza that is stanza 19 as it was better you should strive through acts and count toward making then repose on ought found made so better age exempt from strife should know then tempt further thou waitest age wait death no be afraid here rabbi ben azra says that in youth it is better that a man should struggle to achieve his ideals even though often his ways are clumsy and wrong as it was better youth in youth his ways may be clumsy his ways may be wrong and count means wrong but he should strive hard to achieve his ideals toward making then repose repose means to accept passively repose on ought found made Repo, uh, accept pa passively what has been achieved by others instead of that he should strive hard even such struggle through a process of trial and error towards some novel achievement he instead of accepting passively he should work towards some novel achievement is preferable to a passive acceptance of what already exists has and has been achieved by others he should do something new there may be a failures but ultimately what he is going to achieve he is going to achieve success just as youth is a period of struggle so old age is a period of rest so better age exempt from strife should know then tempt rather the in this part of life there should be no further struggle rather the old man should judge and examine and in this way acquire wisdom and understanding he should learn to discriminate between good and bad from strife should know then tempt what is good what is bad just as in youth a man prepares and waits for old age similarly in old age he should prepare and wait for death from strife should know then tempt further though wait is each wait death no be afraid he should not fear death for the experience and wisdom he has gained would be of great use to him in the life to come now we move on to stanza 20 enough now if the right and the good and the infinite be named here as thou callest thy hand thy own with knowledge absolute subjects to no dispute from fools that crowded youth nor let thee fool alone here he says that rabbi ben ezra says that it is enough now at this stage of our life if one can discriminate between the right if the right and the good and the infinite discriminate between the right the good and the infinite it is enough in this life if a man can know what is good and what is bad as clearly and definitely as he knows his own hand we named here named here means recognized here as thou callest thy callest thy hand thine knows good and bad as clearly as his hand with knowledge absolute with knowledge absolute means clearly and clear and clearly and definitely in one's youth one is beset with foolish doubts and uncertainties which crowd in upon him from all 
sides with knowledge absolute with knowledge clear subject to no dispute dispute means uncertainty uncertainty from fools that crowded youth nor let thee feel alone it is only fools means foolish doubts that beset youth nor let thee feel alone the old man need not feel insecure and weak like a man without a friend it is only in the old age that all doubt all, all doubts are removed and one is perfectly sure of the right and the good this knowledge and wisdom should give the old man courage and self confidence he should not feel um, foolish thoughts or need not by the foolish thoughts the old man need not feel insecure he need not suffer from sense of loneliness and security for now he has wisdom and experience to help and befriend him uh, this is all about till stanza 20 in the next video we will discuss the further stanzas of the poem thank you